Each tone within the patch can also be processed by an amplitude envelope generator, or time variant amplifier, as Roland liked to call it. Now, take this sound, basic string sound, but using two tones panned left and right. Sounds good, but the attack time is not quite what I want, so one of the most frequently adjusted components is the attack portion of the envelope. I'll show you how you can do that then. F4 TVA. And we're going to go from there to TVA envelope. Now remember, I said this was a two-tone patch. So when we make adjustments, we need to adjust both tones at the same time. And that's easy to do. Down here where we see tone select, simply hold down the original tone and add the second. And you can see up in the display, we see a one and an asterisk. We could process all four tones simultaneously, like that. A one followed by three asterisks. But I'm just going to go for the first two. So, one, two. Over here we see the time for the first portion of the curve. This is the attack time. And as I increase it, you can see that the attack portion of the curve increases at the same time. So let's now try the new attack envelope. Much slower. Slower still. Or I can reduce it all the way to zero. Exactly the same thing can be done with the release portion of the curve. Down here where this vertical line is drawn, this represents the note off event. And my release time can be generated in the same way. So let's really increase the release time to a maximum. If I now play the chord, release it, the sound carries on playing for a much longer time. <laughs> 